Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. It was yet another perfect and fantastic week in our premium forex signals group on Telegram. We thankfully have managed to close this whole week with a total of 1000 and 95 pips in total delivered to our, to our clients in the premium forex signals group and he, this is the group right front of you from telegram i want to share with you all the results so you can check them one by one these are the signals that we have sent on monday and these are the results as you can see only one small loss of 30 pips against all of the signals went in a very good deep profit some of them actually went in take profit number two then the next day we can see that some some signals we had to close in small losses which is of course very normal in forex world meanwhile we have thankfully a lot of profits uh, to recover uh, these small tiny losses as well look at that these are the results right front of you my friends and as you can see wednesday was really fantastic day look at that AUD CAD 100 pips of profit um, euro AUD 60 pips of profit euro NZD 120 pips of profit as you can see wednesday or i think thursday yeah thursday was really fantastic day and look at that all of the signals went deep in the profit and all of them were actually green then the day after we can see some small losses here and there and of course lots of profit as well pound and zd 120 pips of profit euro pound 20 pips and so on so i think we did really so well and thankfully the members as you can see they are very happy for the experience and we are receiving now a lot of happy messages from our deep clients dear clients and i'm very happy about uh, the results and the signals that the members are really happy and they are very glad for the experience so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there so let me now begin with the weekly analysis but before that i just wanted to share with you an ugly experience that i just had actually i have already made this video a few minutes ago and for no reason i don't understand the reason why there was no sound my voice was not in the video the whole time i made a 26 minutes video it is here let me show you this is the video as you can see i have explained in details everything about the the weekly analysis but sadly there is no sound i don't understand why uh, but that was actually wasted 26 minutes wasted from my life uh, it's really annoying because i need to explain everything again but you guys deserve it uh, i'm very happy about my uh, subscribers and followers i respect them so much and i know some of uh, actually almost all of them um they are waiting for this video so um we have to go through this it's okay uh, i'm ready for the consequences okay let me now start with the euro usd now what we first thing we can notice right here on the euro usd is that the pair has managed to close on friday night above that strong resistance uh, support level of 1.19594 now after this uh, closure right here we can expect from the euro usd to continue the rise now someone might look right here and they will tell me but Salah, we can see that right here we had two attempts of the resistance and each time on daily chart each time there was one strong bullish candle which has managed to close above that previous support level so even right here we can see another bullish candle has appeared and it closed as well above that support level yet the market kept falling down each time the market has closed above that support level so what makes you think that this time it's gonna it's gonna work and the market is going gonna continue the rise the difference happened right here is that the next day on the first attempt right here on the resistance the first day we can see that the day after has been followed by another bearish candle that candle has actually closed below that support level hence the market has went down and again we see another bullish candle has appeared and the market closed above that support level meanwhile the day after another bearish bearish candle has appeared and it has closed also below that support level but what happened recently this week that the red candle has also appeared after the bullish candle but this time this red candle closed above that support indicating that this is actually a support or this is actually the reversal meaning the market actually has closed indeed above that previous support level and has retested the level and respected it and right now the euro usd seems like it's gonna continue the rise 
Now, after analyzing this way on the daily chart, let's move now to the four hour time frame to have a clear picture or a clear image of where we can actually start buying the pair. As you can see right here, I have already drawn here a support trend line. Now, pay attention that support trend line has been broken out from and immediately uh, uh, returned as a resistance trend line. However, on the second attempt of that resistance trend line right here, the market actually has made a breakout immediately right after that attempt. Immediately meaning uh, there was no second attempt of the resistance. R2 was not there. Means that the market actually respecting this level as a support trend line because we can see that the market actually has uh, return back to its original position and the market is still respecting this level as a support trend line so we can see right here we have a support uh, trend line another support trend line and again after this bearish breakout yet it's actually keeping the position again as a support trend line indicates that most likely uh, the market right now is facing this strong resistance on 1.19915 and eventually is going to fall again to make a pullback or to create right now a second attempt of the support trend line number two meaning the market is going to make another attempt and right after that we can start again buying the pair that being said euro usd is really good for the buy yeah it's already written right here on 1.19594 and the target of course is going to be the peak of that resistance for a good reason let me show you if we draw right here a fibonacci retracement from the from the higher high to the lowest low we can notice that right here, the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement is right here on that resistance. So most likely what will gonna happen that the Euro USD will fall like that, retesting that support trend line and again rises. And then again, it's gonna re uh, reverse on that resistance. And then again, falling down, falling down to retest that broken resistance again. And after that, it will rise all the way to hit 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, which is on 1.21040. Five. That means that we are looking for 143 pips profit from this trade. Meanwhile, the safe zone is ranging for about 61 pips, which is also fair enough. There goes your signal for the Euro USD, and hopefully it will work very well and bring us lots of profits. Pound USD. As we can see right now, the pound USD on the four hour time frame has made a very strong bullish momentum right here, uh, breaking out from that long term resistance on 1.38092. Right now, after this breakout happened, we can see that the market right here facing another resistance. Most likely, the pound USD will reverse on that resistance for another pullback. And right here, we can see that here we had a strong support zone, and also right here, exactly, and right here as well the market has respected that support zone. So most likely after this breakout happened, the market again will fall right here. This is gonna be the best level to start again buying the pound USD. Therefore, the buy order can be placed at uh, 1.38092 and the target is going to be 1.39139. So we are actually aiming 100 pips profit from this deal, 106 uh, pips profit from this deal. Meanwhile, the safe zone will be ranging for about 20, sorry, um, 43 pips only. Um, don't 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 forget that uh, the reason for choosing the safe zone here, if we look at the left, we can see that right here, we also had few tails uh, in the case that we are right now in the support zone. So if the market going to fall right here to retest that broker resistance, um, it still has a potential to fall a little bit more down because if we look right here, we're having a support trend line just like that. So there is a chance that the market might fall actually all the way right here. So please be careful and don't make this your stop loss. This is not your stop loss. Um, this is just a, a safe zone, meaning that the market, as long as it's ranging inside this level, sh you should be safe. Then if you see any bearish breakout happened right here from that level, it means that we have to pay, pay attention because it seems like that, that trade is no longer valid. Actually, it's th this support line is not, not accurate. It's like that, actually. Yes, perfect like that. Yes, most likely this is like that. So as I said before, uh, we can expect from the pound USD. Actually, it's going to, if I'm not mistaken, it will reverse right from that uh, previous resistance. But we have to expect always from the market to fall a little bit more down against our entry before going to continue the rise. There goes your signal for the pound USD. And hopefully it will work very well and bring us lots of profits.
same goes to the AUD USD. If we look carefully at the daily chart, we can notice that the AUD USD has respected the support level right here for long term on 0 0.76200. Most likely right now, the AUD USD is going, going to bounce right on that support level after this bearish, uh, sorry, a bullish breakout from that previous resistance. Therefore, that support level most likely is going to keep its position as a support and the AUD USD going to continue the rise right after retesting that previous support level. Now, this is on the daily chart. Let's go back to the four hour time frame. And right here, we can notice that this support level has been respected indeed by seeing this right here as a support number one. So the first attempt of the support has already happened. So we can expect from the market to fall for another, uh, I would say 30 pips maybe. Yeah, exactly. 28 or 30 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. So this is right here where we can expect from this uh, to the support number two to appear. And then we can start again buying the pair. Of course, um, the safe zone has been placed there because we are having right here a previous resistance. Now we can expect from the market to fall a little bit more down uh, against our entry to retest that broken resistance right here on 0 0.76835. And after that, it's going to continue the rise. But that is only an, it's just a possibility, but I don't, I don't think in reality it's going to happen. Most likely, this support zone right here and this one right here is very strong. And I'm expecting from the pound used, from the AUD USD to continue the rise right after making the support number two. And then we can expect from the pair to make a target of 144 pips of profit. Meanwhile, the safe zone is going to be ranging for about 46 pips only. Uh, there goes your signal for uh, the AUD USD, and hopefully it will work very well and bring us lots of profits. Let's take a look right now at the USD CAD. Now regarding the USD CAD, actually if we look at the daily chart, we can see that the USD CAD is moving in a very strong bearish momentum. Uh, let me remove this one so we can see it clearly. So as we can see right here, my friends, on the daily chart, the USD CAD is moving in a very strong uh, bearish momentum. Most likely, if I'm not mistaken, the USD CAD is going to be for the fall recent, uh, this week. However, if we look carefully also on the daily chart, the USD CAD moving in, is a, in a very strong uh, ranging mode. I mean, this kind of market is really ugly and I personally hate trading it, but still we can identify the strong support and resistance levels right here. If we look carefully also, even this chart here or this structure looks somehow chaos. Actually, it's not because right here we can see that we had a previous resistance and here is the bullish breakout from that resistance. And right here we can see that this resistance has returned as a, a support. This was a support number one and right here a support number two. Now, what happened is this, these three candles uh, uh, representing another a bearish breakout candle from that support level. Yes, I know it's a blue candle, but however, it rep uh, represents a bearish breakout. If we look right now at the four hour time frame, we can see it very clear right here. Now, what we can see right here is that this, uh, this after this bearish breakout candle, we can see that right here also we had a previous resistance. That resistance has become another previous support. Right now, the USD CAD is actually uh, reversing at that support on 1.20571 and most likely is going to, to rise to make a pullback just to, re to retest that broken support uh, level. And after that, um, supported by the, stro the, the strong bearish momentum, USD CAD is going to continue the fall. Therefore, we can expect from the USD CAD to rise right here and we can short it right away after hitting that previous support level. Then the target, of course, will be that previous support level right here after this bearish uh, bullish breakout candle. So therefore, the target for the USD CAD will be about 88 pips only and the safe zone will be ranging above that previous resistance for almost 44 pips. There goes your signal for the USD CAD and hopefully also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits. Let's now check the USD GPY. Now regarding the USD GPY, as we can see, the pair actually has been moving in a very strong bearish momentum for the past two weeks. However, it's going to continue the, the fall, of course, but after hitting that previous support level right here on 108.800, we can expect from the USD GPY to rise a little bit more, retesting that, bro that broken resistance and again, it's going to continue the fall. It's very important to mention something. This right here, 
I don't care about it because for me that's a fake breakout. What I care for is that real resistance right here and that level has been respected as well right here also. That means most likely the USDGPY on the daily chart we can see uh, is going to continue the fall but we have to wait for the pair to rise for another um, 30 pips as well before it's going to be valid for the, 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 the sell. Uh, I don't know about this level right here. Why is it there? Anyway, after shorting the USDGPY right from that resistance level, the target, of course, has to be that previous resistance level right here on 108.143, which is going to be our target. And I believe it's going to be 100 pips exactly. Almost, yeah, 95 pips is going to be our target. And meanwhile, the safe zone will be ranging for about 45 pips. Uh, the target is right there because most likely if the pair actually going to fall all the way right here, um, it's going to respect that previous resistance. And after that, the pair going to rise. Uh, most likely if this happened during this week, during sun uh, Monday and Tuesday, then buying the USDGPY right from that previous resistance is going to be our next signal on the midweek analysis video. Anyway, there goes your signal for the USDGPY and hopefully also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits. USDCHF. Now, the very first thing we can notice right here on the USDCHF that the pair has actually respected that strong support uh, level right here, key support level right here on 0 0.92126, which was also another strong key support level right here. Now, the first look at the USDCHF, we can tell that the market has made uh, what seems like a fake breakout from that level, but immediately the market has risen above that previous support. But keep in mind, that the market has immediately after making one single attempt of the support again started the fall and the second attempt has failed now um, if we look at this price action this bearish breakout candle actually i have made it previously another video i have explained the price actions in details this candle right here usually indicates a continuation in the movement most likely after seeing this bearish breakout candle it indicates that the market is going to continue the fall we can see the same candle has appeared right here and as we can see immediately after its appearance the market resumed the fall and we can see it also right here if i'm not mistaken right here as a bullish breakout candle um i actually have explained this earlier my friends if you see a bullish breakout candle that look like that uh, with a small tiny tail at the top, uh, bottom and normal size wick at the top it usually indicates a continuation in the growth if you see it as a bearish breakout candle with a tiny small uh, wick at the top and somehow normal tail size usually it indicates a continuation in the fall therefore uh, as i said before after seeing the scandal i'm assuming that the market is going to rise a little bit right here retesting that broken support level then we can start shorting the usd usd chf from uh, 0 0.92126 and of course, the safe zone is going to be ranging above that resistance level. So it's going to be about 50 pips exactly as a safe zone. Meanwhile, the target will be right here, that previous support level, which is, I think, only 80 pips, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 70 pips also. Uh, sadly, this is what the setup is, is providing us and we cannot force uh, any other setup than that. So there goes your signal for the USDCHF and hopefully it will work very well and bring us lots of profits the gold let's now analyze the gold because i'm really excited for it let, let me just remove the uh, already written uh, the signal now what we can see right here on the gold that this support level right here on 1700 has been respected for quite a long time the gold actually has failed to break out from that level or from that price of 1700 and right now the market has closed above that strong support level on 1761 most likely what will gonna happen right now that the gold is going to retest that broken resistance level right here which was also previously another support right here on the daily chart right from that level we can start again buying the gold and the target as i said before is going to be 1805 in general this is where the gold is rising for and also right here we can see that the gold the gold has made a breakout from that long-term resistance so the breakout happened right here most likely what will gonna happen is that the gold eventually gonna continue the rise um, after hitting that resistance uh, the gold is actually going to fall and retesting again that previous support right here then maybe it will continue the fall but however it all depends on the strength of the USD dollar anyway let's go to the four-hour time frame 
and as we can see right here the market has already created another uh, sorry a first attempt of that support this support right here has already been respected and the market has reversed in it so therefore uh, we have to wait for the market to fall again uh, we have to wait for wait for it to fall for another 157 pips before it's going to be valid for the short uh, sorry for the buy now the question is can we we can we start shorting the gold right here based on that analysis absolutely not don't short the gold right here and make your target right on that previous support if i'm not mistaken i actually think i believe that the gold if um, eventually will continue the rise and hit the take profit level without reaching our support level i have placed my my buy order right here um, for safety measures and to be always safe and to have a perfect entry but in reality if i'm not mistaken with this strong uh, with this uh, price action most likely the gold will continue the rise if you are willing to take the chances um, it's really up to you but you have to um, put in your mind that maybe the gold will fall right here um, to that previous support level and it also has still has a potential to fall even more to hit that previous resistance level on 1750 before going to continue the rise so if you want to, you want to start the buy right away uh, do it under your responsibility and just prepare because most likely you will be in losses for a long time but still however i would say the gold eventually going to continue the rise but therefore uh, just to be safe always to have a safe entry my friends especially when we are trading the gold it's always better in my, best in my opinion to always have a proper entry level especially when we are trading the gold because uh, as you know guys the gold is moving very fast and one candle can actually uh, cause it cause your account to hit the stop loss before continue the rise anyway um there goes your signals for this week and i believe it's going to be a very good week and the market seems to be easy to be written th read this week yes the market is definitely easy to read and i think it's going to be a very profitable and fantastic week for everyone you can see that in my voice i'm tired because i had uh, made this video twice and i'm i was talking for almost one hour that's a lot for me so therefore yeah forgive me if my sound um, sounded a little bit low or faded or somehow uh okay yeah i mean yeah in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching